Ninth grade. Ninth grade. What do you like and dislike about school, sir? We got really cool. Oh, boy. I can see about the pinch hat. Everybody's in uniform. Everybody's in uniform. School system, they can never be in uniform. Very, very hard. And I haven't found one yet. Like the uniform. Everybody's in 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 uniform. I want to. I had three guys. That sound like an engineer. Good. 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 So I, I suppose those of you that have been listening have heard a lot of the students talk about the uniform. And so, it's, and, and so the problem becomes, if I can give you an example of how I was suspended in school. Uh, if you just have a, a, a school policy, say they wear a certain kind of clothes, but then if you have a policy and you come to school and you have a wrong color belt, wrong color shirt, the, your, your socks are the wrong color, just trivial things. And let's say you get written up three or four times for not wearing the right color belt. And all of a sudden, you start getting And that, 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 and that becomes a problem. So it's the trivialness of some of the problems. It's not so much of the problems, but some of them are just so trivial. And so those, those are the kinds of things that we're looking at in terms of how do we, how do we think about students when we develop problems? How many students are actually on committees that develop policies? How many students have been asked about policies? When children get in trouble, do you have a peer mediation council? Do you have a group of students who come together and learn how to handle the Who are they going to go talk to us? Do we have those kinds of schools inside of our school system? So that's, those are the things that we're going to talk about when we talk about pushing. We're talking about policies that are in place. And sometimes the teachers themselves aren't even conscious of what the policies are doing. Uh, some of the things that happen to students who don't graduate in high school, they're about eight times more likely to wind up in jail or prison. And just think about it. What does it do to our children? That means that when we have children out of school, where where are they going to be? Students, they're more likely going to be where? They're not in school, what are they going to be doing? Jail. Jail, but doing what else? On the street. On the street. Walking the street. Walking the street. Not yeah, I said, they school. Right? <laughs> Making the neighborhoods more unsafe. So it's more productive and advantageous to all of us if we keep children in school rather than putting them out of school. Because not only we, we want to make our, hood, our neighborhoods safe. So one of the ways that we can do that is assuring that all of our children get a first grade quality education and that they're kept in school, not pushed out of school. Okay, don't mind. And when they go to college. Make sure they go to an HBCU. <laughs> Make sure they go to an HBCU. You know? No matter where it is, just go to an HBCU. Rally me. We're broadcasting live. Hey. Yeah, we have, we have a whole group of we students. We have a group of students. We go live. From Lexington, Mississippi. Woo! Hey, Misha, you ready for the radio now?